Hello and welcome back to another YAWL tutorial. Today we will talk about cancellation regions in YAWL. In many cases it is important to be able to cancel a set of tasks once you have started a complex workflow. In YAWL cancellation regions are an extremely powerful tool. However, it's not so easy to use them correctly Today I will show you how to avoid mistakes while defining cancellation regions and we will give you an example and explain the mechanics of these cancellation regions. As usual you can find supplementary material in the link below and we will start right now. So here we are. Um, we have the supplementary material of this tutorial open here. And uh, we are logged in as um, a user who is administrator at the same time here on the right hand side. And what we will do first is we will upload the org data. We click on this upload button here and then we just drag and drop the YBKP file here. And the next thing that we will do is we will upload the specification here to the YAWL editor and um, use it for this example. And here we have a workflow that starts with formulating a requirement and then there is a defined software project or prepare software procurement depending on the choice we have made. So let's assume that after formulating the requirement we want to be able to cancel the case. So what we have to do in YAWL for this is we have to go to the palette and select the ordinary task here and then click on it here and um, then we go to formulate requirement and what we need here is an AND split so we set the split type to AND and then we just drag an arc here and then we drag another arc here until the end and now we call this um, cancel case so we have a new decomposition here which is called cancel case and this will be offered to the same user that has formulated the requirement. So we go to the resourcing here and enable system offer, choose completer of task, formulate requirement. That's that. Now we want to define a cancellation region and we have to go up here to uh, the, this uh, toolbar here and view cancellation set of the selected task. So we select that and now with our mouse we will drag an area that contains oh well, we have to go to the selection here first. So we drag an area that contains all of the region that should be cancelled by this and we add that to the cancellation set. So there is a button here and now we have added all this to the cancellation set and if we then click on this view can cancellation set again we see there is a red button appearing here and if we click again we can, we can select it here you can see it selected and unselected what we also want to do is that once we have reached the point of starting the project we want to cancel this cancel case task here. So this is done by selecting this, adding it to the set and we also have to select the arc leading to it because tokens can be on the arc so to say because um, they are implicit Petrinet places here. Um, we do the same thing for prepare purchase order. Click on the cancellation set and then we add the cancel case task and the arc before that. 
And now we are done and we can upload this to the YAWL engine, automatically launch a new case, go to control panel here and we go to the work list and now we see that formulate requirement is the first task so we start this one and we say um, we want to make a CRM system and the estimated cost is 80,000 and now you can see we have the cancel case task offered um, to the same user and uh, if we refresh here um, we also have define software development project and prepare software procurement so I will choose define software development project here and I will work on that and I can see the estimated cost. I can still change that value, the chosen technology and I complete this here. And now um, we are in start project. And what I want to do now is I want to cancel the case. So I choose cancel case here. And complete this. And now you can see, even if I refresh it, the other work item has disappeared. And if I go to case management, we can see that there are no more active cases. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you don't want to miss any new episodes. See you soon.